participants, please keep their devices on mute all the time. If you have any questions, please send it to the chat room, or you can ask later on after the lecture. Thank you. Tamam saathiyo ko yali madad, kamre sahib, thank you. I hope everyone is doing well on this Saturday morning. It shows your dedication, your love for the Imam, and it shows that how much you love to learn the ilm and hikmat. Ya Mullah is Zaman, Ya Mullah is Zaman. Ham Garibon ko, Nacharam ko, Tofik, Tahid, Himat Vayari, Nayat Farma Mola. Ya Mullah is Merban, Ya Rehman, Ya Rehim. Mullah to Janta hai. कि हम कितने कमजोर हैं तेरे छोटे छोटे स्पिरिचुअल चिल्ड्रन इस इल्म को सीखने और सिखाने के लिए यहां पर जमा हुए हैं मौला अगर तेरी तौफीक ताहिद ना हो मौला तो हम कुछ भी नहीं कर सकते हैं मौला तू जानता है मौला हमारी कमजोरियों को या मौला मेहरबान हमारे साथ एक शफकत बड़ी मां की तरह हमारा हाथ पकड़कर हमें इस रास्ते पर चलाना मौला या मौला है जमान या मौला है जमान हम बहुत ही आजीजी से बहुत ही आजीजी से मौला तेरी मदद को पुकारते हैं मौला जिस तरह से एक बच्चा अपनी माँ को पुकारता है इस तरह से हम तुझे पुकारते हैं मौला तो आ और अपने नूर से हमारी मदद फरमा मौला आमीन या रब्बल आलमीन तौफीक ताहिद हिम्मत व यारी तमाम साथियों को एक बार फिर या ली मदद इस गरीब और नाचीज की जानिब से आप तमाम की दुआओं की जरूरत है अशद जरूरत है ताकि हम ये काम कर सके आपको याद होगा हम फरमान नंबर 64 फरमान अक्टूबर 19 1903 के फरमान को पढ़ रहे थे आज हम पेज नंबर 31 से उसको कंटिन्यू करेंगे हक मौलाना दरी सलामत दाता आका सुल्तान मोहम्मद शाह सलवातुल्लाह अलैहि हमारी जाने इस इमाम से फिदा हो फरमाते हैं तुम दिल के साथ तैया करो तुम्हारा ईमान तुम्हारे दिल में ऐसे हिम्मत दे आज तक तुम्हारे दिल में सुस्ती थी अब से आप अपने दिल के साथ तैया करें और तुम्हारे खुदावंत को दिल में जगा दो ऐसा तैया करें करो के आज के बाद हिम्मत बहुत ही रखो ऐसी हिम्मत रखो और ऐसा तैया करो के आज के बाद दिन पर ज्यादा ख्याल रखोगे आपने देखा मौला हमें तवज्जो दिला रहे हैं 
he is drawing our attention that I understand that we have been lazy in our deen, in the understanding of our deen, in the following of our deen. But today, let's make a firm conviction that from now on, from now on, we will pay attention to our mola, to our tariqa, to our religion. In this one, there is one underlined word or sentence which is that from now on you will keep your Lord in your heart. That today, अपने खुदावंत को अपने दिल में रखोगे। What does it mean? अगर हमको याद है कि हमने पिछले पैराग्राफ के अंदर पढ़ा था कि हमने दुनिया को अपने दिल में रखा हुआ है। Remember, in our previous paragraph we had read. Then Mullah said, you have kept your world in your heart. And in this paragraph, Mullah is reminding us, guiding us, that we should keep Imam in our heart. Imam is not saying that you should let your world go because physical life needs to go on we still need to work we still need to eat and do whatever we need to do on the worldly physical level but our heart our mind should be focused on what is permanent and that is the remembrance of the Imam, Ibadat Bandagi, and the Fikr was Zikr. Fikr was Zikr, thoughts and your Tazbiyat should be focused on what is permanent and that is our soul. Because after two days, after four days, after a short life, we all must return back to our origin. And that life is permanent and focus should be on the Imam to elevate our soul. So Mullah says, Keep your mola in your heart, not dunya. And I believe we had emphasized on this again and again in our previous reading. Tumare dil ke ru se awal pucho ke andar nafs ki taraf ragib hai. Very strange question, Mullah said. You should go into your heart and look at your soul and ask a question. Am I focusing? Ragib word hai. Am I focusing on my soul? And this is the question we should be asking of ourselves, her rose apni nafs ke upar haath rakh kar apne aap ko pushna chahiye ke kya meri tawajja meri yaad mera focus is toward my soul or is toward my physical being <coughs> toward my physical being. 
That should be the question one should ask every single day. It could be at the end of the day, what have I done today? Did I do what I promised Mullah I would do today? Was I focused or did I lose my focus? And this is for the purpose of correction, not criticism. Just to correct ourselves, if we had forgotten, then we can correct ourselves for the next day. Inshallah. <clears throat> Further Molar says, Rat din do tin gante nafs ke saath khyal mein rekar uske saath baat cheet mein raho kitne din tumhare dil ko ibadat ke bigger rakho ke. Now there is a very uh, good point over here that we should learn. So I'm going to translate this into English so everyone will understand. پہلے ہم نے اردو میں سن لیا کہ اپنی روح کے ساتھ اپنی نفس کے ساتھ دو تین گھنٹے روزانہ بات چیت کرو وری مامی سائن یو شوڈ ٹاک ٹو یور سیلف ایسک یور سیلف ٹاک ٹو یور سیلف اینڈ امام سائن ٹو ٹو تھری آور اے ڈے اینڈ واٹ یو واٹ دی کانورسیشن ووڈ لک لائک He is saying, ask yourself, have I focused on my soul, what is permanent, have I done that? And he is saying, do that 2-3 hours a day. And next line says, Tumhare dil ko ibadat ke bigger rakho ge, kitne din? How many days will you keep yourself away from the ibadat? And remember, we are not talking about sitting down and sitting in Ibadat for 16 hours a day. But we can be in remembrance 24 hours a day. If we are focused, <laughs> we can do Ilmi Ibadat. Our work, our chores, with the correct intention, niyat ke saath, agar hum imandari se kaam karte hain, to wo bhi humari ibadat ke andar gina jata hai. Even making money can be part of your ibadat. Cooking and cleaning could be part of your ibadat. Anything we do can be part of your ibadat. If your intentions are correct, if you are working honestly, and if you are focusing. This is a very powerful paragraph that how we should be having a conversation with ourselves. And I have repeated this many times before. You do not have to tell me or anyone else. No one will come and ask you what you are doing. It is between you as a murid and your imam as a murshid. Ye aapke aur aapke mola ke darmiyan mein hai. Further mola says, Another example, جس طرح مرگی زمین پر سر پٹکتی ہے یوں کتنے دن تک تم زمین پر سر پٹکتے رہو گے تم اوپر جانے کا خیال کرو یعنی کہ اپنی روح کا خیال آسمان پر جانے کا رکھو مولا gives the example of a chicken which is completely, utterly always focus on food on the ground and she constantly constantly looking toward the food 
And Mola is giving that example for us. That how many days, how long will you fo be focused on the world and eating and food and whatever else we do during our 24 hour. Mullah say instead your focus should be your thought would be to go above. Yaha par jo word asman ka diya wa hai yaha par word jo asman hai we are not talking about heavens asman word is used <coughs> for higher ranks asman ka jo word use kiya gaya hai na wo jannat ke liye nahi upar ke darjat ke liye istemal kiya gaya hai so those who have a book or those who have paper pencil make a note the word asman is used for higher ranks, not the heavens. And at the end, if you want to ask me a question, why would I say that? Then I'll be more than happy to explain again. Aap apni ruh ka khyal asman par jane ka rakho. That was the line that you should underline. Because your focus should be to get to the higher ranks not on the ground toward the world and the food. Further Mullah says, Dekho, Murtaza Ali ke asab Salman jese the. Wo Salman ek Farsi yani ke Irani tha. Uske baawajud bhi ibadat bandhi ke zariye ehle bait ka rutba hasil kiya tum bhi aisi ibadat karo aisi koi wajah nahi ke tum uske jaise na ban sako we all remember in our history salman e farsi who was salman e farsi a fire worshipper and he was one of the caretaker of their uh, place of prayers as his father was a caretaker of the uh, place of worship but one day he ran away from home because he was not satisfied with his religion because his father would appoint him to sit there to ensure the fire does not go away meaning constantly putting woods and the kerosene in the fire taake wo aag bujh na jaye uska khyal karna hota tha usko to wo kehta tha ki ye kaisa khuda hai कि जिसको मेरे को जला कर रखना होता है वट कार ऑफ लॉर्ड इज दिस दैट आई हैव टू पुट द कैरोसलीन एंड वुड इन टू इट सो इट वुड स्टे अ लाइफ वट कार ऑफ गॉड इज दिस और वो हैप्पी नहीं था सो यू रेन अवे वन डे ही फाउंड अ प्रीस्ट एंड ही लाइक द क्रिश्चनिटी इट लीज दे वर बिलीविंग इन वन गॉड so he converted to christian one day while they were traveling usko kidnap kar liya gaya aur usko gulam bana liya gaya they took him and made him a slave and then they sold him in makka one of the muslim bought it and then he gave to mola ali and mola ali freed him aur jab islam ka waqt aaya to usne islam ko qabool kiya 
not only that they became a Muslim but he loved Mullah Ali the Imam Zaman so much so much that he became Elibet we all remember कि कौन होता है कि जो एलेबेट में से है पंचतने पाक में से कौन हो सकता है from the household of prophet muhammad जब खुदावन ताला ने आयत उतारी and this is आयत तथीर सुरा 33 आयत नंबर also is 33 they collect your household the people of your household and sit on this chadar ek chadar bichhai aur kaha ke apni family ko is chadar pe bitha lo aur jo bhi is chadar pe bitha hua hai wo paak and purified hai they are the household of allah they are the household of allah when prophet muhammad's wife Asiya asked, O oh Muhammad, should I sit in this chadar on this blanket? Muhammad said, No. This is only for those who are purified. Prophet Muhammad himself, Ali Murtaza, Fatma Zulzora, Hassan wa Hussain were the five that sat on their chadar. But then, Salman Farsi was entered into Elabeth. A person who loved Imam so much, he elevated himself so much, that he became part of Elabeth. The family of Allah. And listen to what Mullah is saying in this Farman. Kya Farman de Mullah? तुम भी ऐसी ही इबादत करो ऐसी कोई वजह नहीं कि तुम उसके जैसे ना बन सको सिर्फ तुम्हारी अपनी ना हिम्मती है तुम्हारे दिल में मोहब्बत होनी चाहिए सुस्ती तुम्हारे अपने दिल की है रिमेंबर ही लव्ड मोला अली एंड ही इन द लव ऑफ द अली he would do extra ordinary ibadat. Jisko mein kya keta hon? He did honest ibadat. Someone can ask, what is honest ibadat? Is there a such thing not honest ibadat? Salman Farsi did honest ibadat. Wo imandari ki ibadat karta tha. और मुला फरमाते हैं कि ये तुम्हारी सुस्ती है। It is your laziness that you are not able to reach where he was able to reach। क्यों? कि वो ऐसी इबादत करता था कि जो ईमानदारी की इबादत होती थी। इस वजह से वो अपने असल मकाम पर एले बेत में से हो गया। I'm sure someone is thinking on this line, yeah, but that was 1400 years ago. Give us an example of our time. Have we not seen the people, the murids and momnins in our recent history? Rahim Basaria, Mola says for him. That he is from El Behet. He was from Panchtane Park. And you know what Mola said for him? When Rahim Basiriya asked, Usne Mola se darkhaz kiya, Ke Mola mere paas koi narina aulad nahi hai. He requested Mola that I don't have any male progeny. So Mola said, what are you going to do with male progeny? Tumko ladke ki kyu zarurat hai? Rehim Basariya ne arz ki, ya Mola, 
जब मैं मर जाऊंगा तो मेरे को कोई कंधा देने वाला होगा मेरा बेटा होगा तो मेरे को कंधा देगा इसे एटलीस्ट सम वन विल बी देयर फॉर माई फ्यूनल यू नो वॉट मोला से टू हिम आई एम योर सन नॉट ओनली दैट खाली इतना नहीं फरमाया मोला ने फरमाया कि मैं इस दुनिया में भी तुम्हारा बेटा हूं और उस दुनिया में भी तुम्हारा बेटा रहूंगा एंड देन मोला एस्क रहीम कैन योर सन डू दैट आई एम योर सन हेयर एंड आई विल बी योर सन इन दी अदर If I give you a son, would he be able to do that? Rahim Basaria, he became speechless. He said, "Nay, Mola, you are Rahman, you are Rahim. <coughs> Mola further says, 'Ke me tumko kanda dene ke liye tumari mayat me aunga. <coughs> Mola said, 'I will be there.'" <coughs> I will be there for your funeral. And guess what? Jama changed. 1957. Jama changed. Close to 1959. Rain Basaria fell sick, and he was in hospital. And he remember. Then Mola said, "I will be there for your funeral." Now he's crying. Kya Mola? Mere ko nari na aulad nahi hai. Tu ne mujhe kaha tha ki main tere funeral mein aunga. Tu ne to jama badal diya. Ab main kiska intezar karo? And ab samam jante hain ki fir kya hua? Prince Ali Salman Khan walked into the hospital and said to Salman Rahim Basaria Hey Rahim remember I had promised you that I will come for your funeral are you ready to go I'm here Imagine that. Imagine that. Mola had promised him. <clears throat> of course, Rain Basiria passed away that day, and Prince Ali Khan was there for his funeral. ये है हमारे recent history. ये है हमारे मोमिनीन. It is not impossible, my friends. it is possible for all of us each one of us each one of us it is possible <clears throat> mola further says fazul baatein karte ho jisse aakhirat ka koi fayda nahi hota kai nadan aadmi aise khayalat karte hain ki ibadat mein kare मगर हिंदुस्तान के बाशिंदे खोजों को अरबी जबान में क्या फायदा होगा अच्छा वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लाइन अगेन आई एम जस्ट सो इन टू दिस फॉरमान दैट एवरी लाइन आई रीड आई जस्ट कैन नॉट हेल्प माई सेल्फ टू थिंक हाउ मच इमाम लव दस एंड हाउ डिटेल line by line he is guiding us this is a kind of warning for us that we waste our time in so much unnecessary talk unnecessary conversation look at the social media today how much time do we waste <clears throat> hour 2 hour 3 hour you know what research says about social media 
I'm sure all of you know this. Sometimes intentionally and sometimes unconsciously, we are part of this. Average person looks at his or her phone 800 times a day. 800 800 times a day an average person sends 24 messages forward sometime reading and sometime even not reading they just forward because somebody sent it to you now you have to send it to someone you don't even know what that is If we are understanding this Farman, we should utilize our single breath every single minute of the day in the remembrance, focusing on our soul instead of playing and wasting our time on social media. Mola ne kya farmaya? Fazul baate karte ho jisse akhirat ka koi fayda nahi hai. Social media will not help you when your time comes. It is just waste of time. Unnecessary. You are not only burdening and wasting your time. Each time you forward something which is not good or not needed you are also wasting your family and your friends time who is responsible for that be careful be careful do not waste your life your time the precious time away imam had given us this time we should be thankful. We should be thankful to him that he had given us yet one more day. Ek or din humko diya hai, usko zaya na kare. Kya pata ki hamare baas ek din baaki hai, ki do din baaki hai, ki char din baaki hai. Let's not waste our precious time in unnecessary things. I'm going to read this line again. Fazul baate karte ho jisse akhirat ka koi fayda nahi hota. Kai nadan admi aisa aise khyalat karte hain ki ibadat arbi zaban mein hai. So now Mullah is talking about that you know in this that time and even today some that we don't understand Arabic, we don't understand our dua. But look at how Mirban Imam is. We have translation and we have teachers who can teach us the meaning of the dua. If we understand our dua in whatever language you understand, jis zaban mein bhi hum apni dua ko samaj jate hain uski meaning ko, phir humko ye worry nahi honi chahiye. कि हमको अरबीक आती है कि नहीं आती है ऐसा नहीं है कि खुदा सिर्फ अरबीक ज़मान समझता है वो आपके दिल की बात को सुनता और समझता है so of course at that time especially in our खोजा जमात and मोला इस रोके मार खोजा जमात हैर कि जो सिर्फ गुजराती और कच्ची बोलती थी उर्दू भी पूरी तरह नहीं बोलती थी कि वो अरबीक को समझ सके so Mola unko dilaza dilate hai. Then it's okay. Lekin agar tum apni dua ko samajte ho, to wo tumhare liye kaafi hai. Achcha. Arbi alfaz mein, arbi namaz, arab logon ke liye achchi hai, jo uske maani samaj sakta hai. इसके लिए अच्छी है जो कोई अरबी अरब नहीं है 
اور سمجھے بغیر بے خودی میں نماز پڑھتا ہے تو کوئی تو کہے کہ کوئی کئی طرح کائیں کائیں کرتا کوے کی طرح کائیں کائیں کرتا جو معنی نہیں سمجھتا اس کا روح اس میں نہیں ہوتا وہ صرف منہ سے بگ بگ کرتا ہے جس لائک وٹ آئی جس سیڈ امام از سینگ دو سو ڈز ناٹ انڈرسٹینڈ دی میننگ آئی وانٹ ٹو امفیسائز آن دس پارٹ وی انڈرسٹینڈ عربک از ناٹ آور لینگویج لسن ٹو وٹ مولا سیز دو سو ڈز ناٹ انڈرسٹینڈ دی میننگ آف دی دعا اور پھر دعا پڑھتے ہیں تو وہ بگ بگ کرتا ہے وٹ از دا انگلش ورڈ فار بگ بگ کرتا ہے دے آر جس لائک اے کرو جس میکنگ ساؤنڈ آؤٹ آف از ماؤتھ ود آؤٹ انڈرسٹینڈنگ کہ وہ کیا بول رہا ہے وٹ از دا کانورسیشن کیا بات چیت کر رہے ہیں آپ خدا سے آپ دعا کی معنی پر توجہ دیں تاکہ آپ کو پتا چلے کہ ہم دعا میں کیا بول رہے ہیں کیا کہہ رہے ہیں وٹ از دا کانورسیشن وٹ از دا ٹاک وٹ آر وی ایسکنگ معنی 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 ناٹ ٹرانسلیشن بٹ معنی معنی انڈرسٹینڈنگ ڈیپر انڈرسٹینڈنگ آف دی دعا ادروائز مولا فرماتے ہیں کہ تم صرف بگ بگ کرتے ہو حضرت امام حسین کے زمانے میں شمیر بھی نماز پڑھتا تھا جو بے ایمانی سے نماز پڑھتے ہیں وہ شمیر کی طرح ہے ریمبر آپ اس کے بعد آنسٹ عبادت اینڈ ڈس آنسٹ عبادت اینڈ دی کوشچن واز Can there be a dishonest ibadat? Listen to what Mullah says here. Here Mullah is talking about dishonest ibadat. Salman Farsi was doing honest ibadat. Now Mullah is giving a negative example of Shamir. Then he also would offer his namaz. Lekin wo be imani ki نماز پڑھتا تھا ڈس آنےسٹی کی نماز پڑھتا تھا مگر الحمد للہ تم شکر ادا کرو کہ یہ ست پن دین میں تمہارا جنم ہوا ہے تم اس پر خیال رکھو کہ اگر اس پر خیال ہوگا تمہارے جسم میں سے روح نکل جائیں گا تو سیدھے بہشت میں جائیں گا مولا سیل بٹ تھنک اینڈ بی تھینک فل شکر گزار رہو دیٹ ہی ایز گیون یو اے برتھ ان سچپن دین اسمائلی طریقہ سو وین یور سول ول لیو یور باڈی اٹ ول گو اسٹریٹ بیک ٹو دی ہیون بی تھینک فل Don't be like Shamir. You all remember that Abdul Muljim who killed and martyred Mola Ali, Ali and Murtaza, our beloved first Imam. You know what his attribution was? At the time of Prophet Muhammad, when there would be competition amongst the new Muslims that who can offer more namaz who can offer extraordinary sajood ke koon sab se zada namaz padhta hai aur sab se zada sajde offer karta hai uska competition hota tha Abdul Rahman Muljim he would offer more namaz than anyone at that time 
इतनी नमाज पढ़ा करता पढ़ा करता था लेकिन वो ईमानदार नहीं था क्यों कहा ईमानदार नहीं था फिर नमाज तो पढ़ता था वो भी लेकिन उसका ईमान अली के ऊपर नहीं था और उसने इमाम को कत्ल कर दिया डू वी सी दैन एंड वी ऑल रिमेंबर वेन यजीज किल इमाम हुसैन मार्टर्ड हेम एंड वेन ई केम बैक माविया से वाई डिड यू डू दैट वोट वॉज ए हरी यू नो वरी सेन नमाज का वक्त हो गया था मेरे पास वक्त नहीं था सो आई किल दिन सो आई कैन मेक इट टू नमाज इन टाइम कैन यू इमेजिन दैट किलिंग द ग्रैंड सन ऑफ प्रॉफिट मोहम्मद हु हैव ब्रॉट द इस्लाम एंड द कुरान एंड नमाज फॉर देम एंड ही सेड आई किल हिम बिकॉज माय नमाज टाइम वाज अबाउट टू बी मिस आई डिन हैव अ टाइम सो आई किल हिम ये ईमानदारों की नमाज नहीं है वट इज द लेसन फॉर अस वाई आर वी टॉकिंग अबाउट अब्दुल रहमान मुलजिम एंड यजीज वाई वट इज द लेसन फॉर अस बी ऑनेस्ट बी ऑनेस्ट इन योर दुआ अंडरस्टैंड योर दुआ रेकनाइज द इमाम क्योंकि इमाम की रेकनाइजेशन के बगैर इमाम की पहचान के बगैर दुआ को समझे बगैर अगर हम नमाज पढ़ते हैं हम दुआ पढ़ते हैं हम इबादत करते हैं तो वो ईमानदारी की नमाज दुआ बंदगी तजियात नहीं है We must recognize the Imam ताकि हम honest इबादत कर सके Let's read one or two more paragraphs, then we will stop so we can open the floor for questioning. बेश में पहुंचो फिर भी बाग बगीचे में कोई फायदा नहीं वहां भी वापस निकल कर हैवान बनोगे बेश से भी ज्यादा पाक एक जगह है वहां रुको पहुंचाना है दिस इज आवर फाइनल लाइन वी विल रीड एंड दिस इज द बेस्ट लाइन इफ वी अंडरस्टैंड अगर हमको समझ में आता है ना फरमान तो ये लाइन है जिसकी बात पूरा फरमान का पंच लाइन इज दिस what is that if your wish if your goal is to go to the heaven then even heaven is like a jail cell mola says what there is a place higher than heaven aur wahan par hamari ruh ko pahunchana hai jannat ki kisko lalach hai किसको जाना है जन्नत में आज भी हम जन्नत में है अगर हम इमाम के साथ है तो आज भी हम जन्नत में है मुला फरमाते हैं नहीं उससे भी एक ऊपर जगह है वी शुड एस्क आवर सेल्फ वोट इज दैट प्लेस इमाम इज टॉकिंग अबाउट देर इज अ प्लेस अब हैवन एंड दैट इज द गोल goal is not to go to heaven but to go to the place above that that is the goal that is the focus so yahan par stop karte hain so we have some time and we can talk about it if there is any question we can talk about it ji I don't see any questions uh, in the chat room but 
uh, if friends have any questions, please unmute your phone and you can ask the question. Yali Madad, Aziz, sir? Yali Madad. Yes, Yali Madad. Yali Madad. I just wanted to mention about Arab Bayt being more than the Punch and Pak, the five. So there is more people in Arab Bayt? Yes. Can you clarify? Yes. Because al remember when Imam calls us my spiritual children. And who were al -Abad? al -Abad were Imam's family, the Nurani family. I know sometimes it is hard for us. If we say as our humbleness, in our RGZ that we are nothing, we are poor, we are nobody. That is our humbleness. But when Imam calls us, my spiritual children, and if we qualified, if we work hard to truly, truly become his spiritual children, then what are we? What are we? As, yes. Then we become his family. Yes. But we have to work hard for it. Yeah. I'm going, I'm going to say something because it's a very small group. And I think I can get by with saying this. Okay, I'm going to say something, which I normally would never say that in a larger group. But I believe everyone on this line early this morning are true momenin and they are true lover of the knowledge. Ilma Imam. So I'm going to say something. When Imam comes for Darbar, and in the Darbar he gets up on the mic, and said, my spiritual children, today I'm happy to see you. Question we should ask ourselves in our heart. Is he talking to every single person sitting there? Or is he talking to few who have qualified themselves to be Imam's spiritual children? That is the question we should ask ourselves. Mm. G. So, um, like, uh, Imam's children, like Princess Zara and uh, Prince Rahim and uh, his uh, biological children, are they also part of al -Bayt? Yes, if they are Nurani family, Definitely, they are a uh, part of Ella Beth. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Any other questions from any friends? Yeah, Ali Madad. Aziz, sir, a question hai mujhe ke, uh, Sultan Mamad Shah ne farman mein uh, tha ye ke uh, Dari ne ibadat nahi karwe, pan uh, Moulana Piyar ma ibadat karwe. Pan abhi to sab knowledge leke, abhi to khali Dari lag raha hai. Wo Piyar abhi tak aaya nahi hai. Abhi, 
राइट तो ये ये सब क्वेश्चंस क्यों होते हैं लाइक माइंड में उसका कोई सॉल्यूशन है जी बिल्कुल है एब्सोल्युटली सो लेट मी रिपीट दिस क्वेश्चन फॉर एवरीवन माय सिस्टर इज सेइंग दैट we have lost half of our life in ignorance now there is lot of fear in our self ke what should we do now so i'm going to answer it in two different ways so you may understand this number 1 pehla yaad rakhe ke hum imam ke spiritual children hai as an ismaili in the bayat of the imam and i'm telling you this with a certainty 100% certainty without any doubt even if you don't do any single thing today and die you are in heaven today aapko darne ki zarurat hi nahi hai aaj hi aap jannat mein hai aap dozakh mein nahi ja rahe hain aap jannat mein ja rahe hain गारंटी रहे ये पता है क्यों क्योंकि आप इमाम के स्पिरिचुअल चिल्ड्रन आप इमाम के बैयत में है और इमाम के साथ इमाम की जन्नत में है नाउ पार्ट ऑफ योर सेकंड क्वेश्चन लुक लाइक दे वर टू क्वेश्चन वो ये था कि प्यार से किस तरह से हम इबादत करें याद रखें कि अगर हमको जन्नत की लालच नहीं और दोजक का डर नहीं सो वॉट डू यू हैव यू हैव नथिंग बट द लव ऑफ द इमाम आपके दिल से निकाल दें आपका डर जो है ना वो दिल से निकाल दें और याद रखें हमको 50 साल की जरूरत नहीं है इमाम के साथ एक होने के लिए वी ओनली नीड वन day of good ibadat to be with imam we do not need 50 years aaj today if you truly love the imam uske ishq ke andar aap ibadat kare not with the fear in your heart dar se nahi dar se nahi kyunki darne ki koi zarurat hi nahi hai na kis baat se dar bhai hum to aaj hi jannat mein hai mola ke sath हम तो मोला के बैत के अंदर है कोई खौफ नहीं है आज टेक देर अवे फ्रॉम योर हार्ट डोंट वरी अबाउट इट यू आर सो लकी टू बी इन द बैत ऑफ द इमाम समझे आप आज से खौफ को निकाल कर और इबादत करें मोला के इश्क पे बस खत्म आपको फिक्र करने की जरूरत ही नहीं है आज जी जाना पड़ेगा तो अभी जन्नत दो जग है ही नहीं तो अभी और क्या बचा है जस्ट प्यार से ही बात करना ओ माई बात दिस इज परफेक्ट यस थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड Um, I'm just saying this because uh, uh, knowledge मिलने के बाद आज मेरा फर्स्ट डे था जमात खाने में कोविड के टाइम पे मॉर्निंग में एंड इट वॉज माई दुआ बारो एंड जब भी मैं दुआ पढ़ रही थी तो इतना सारा नॉलेज अभी जो सुना इतने मंथ्स में दुआ के मीनिंग में और उसके बाद जब भी आज मैं दुआ पढ़ा रही थी तो माई एक्सपीरियंस वॉज कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट कि मैं खाली दुआ रट के पढ़ा नहीं रही थी इट वॉज लाइक completely different experience so thank you very much ke ye aap log knowledge uh, jo spiritual gurus aap log uh, doctors spiritual doctors hum log ko jo knowledge de rahe ho so thank you very much assistant shukar alhamdulillah all thanks and shukar guzari to imam e zaban we are nothing nobody just poor and humble servant of the imam e zaban Hello, Yali Madad. Well, Yali Madad. Um, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge and spending so much time. We really appreciate it. 
Um, I missed the answer you gave to the lady before about uh, the Al Al Bayt, where you say that I, you would not normally talk about it in a large group. Uh, you would, uh, but you're going to talk about it today. But I missed it because I got a little distracted. Can you please repeat it for me? Thank you. Sure, sure. What I was saying, when Imam calls us, when Imam comes into the bar and gets up on the mic and said, my spiritual children, mm -hmm. then what are we? We should ask ourselves. If we are true, truly are elevated ourselves and qualified ourselves to be the spiritual children of the Imam, then we are the family of the Imam and we are part of al if, if we have qualified ourselves to their level. And I said, because of this line, this morning, how many Ismailis are there? 12 million? Look at only 50 some people woke up early this morning because they love their Imam and the Imam's knowledge. So what they do? In the love of Imam, they wake up early so they can listen to the words and the knowledge of the Imam. That tells me that this group of, a small group of people are truly lover of the Imam G. Yeah, Shukar Mola. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Aziz sir, there is a Farman of Sultan Muhammad Shah from Karachi, 26 uh, January 1938. And in that Farman, Sultan Muhammad Shah says, Varas Mahmud Remu e Amari Ganij Kitmat Kari Che. E Misal Ehle Bayt Na Member Ma Che. Jeevirite Wazir Basariya, Wazir Rahim, Ehle Bayt Thaya Che. So there are other members in this uh, century too that have become a little bit. Oh yes. I, matter of fact, uh, a lady had made a list of Susan Mamasha's Farameen and see how many names Imam has mentioned that have come close to being a And there is a list of the name actually. I could not even remember. I'm sure there was a dozen or so. Thank you, Bilke Zappa, for reading this for man. Thank you. Uh, sir, uh, so one friend has a question on the chat room, so let me read out. So the friend is asking, how do you encourage a 10-year-old to mediate and learn dua meaning and any tips? Want him to learn as just as part of daily life from young. There are two different ways that I have found easy to teach our children. Two ways. One, be a role model. Be a role model by not only reciting the dua in the evening or morning, but what you can do, let's say there are two uh, du'a in the evening. So first, if you read the du'a, let's say you as a parent read the or the uh, recite the du'a, then ask your children to read the translation of the du'a. Because remember, step by step, the recitation, then the translation in English or Urdu, whichever language, is preferable for them to understand. And then the third, have a conversation. Have a conversation with your children. Or have a conversation between husband and wife, parents, and let children listen to it. This is very successful method without forcing anyone. If you become a role model, if you recite the dua, always have your children read the translation of the dua and then at the end, as a practice of the dua, 
that should be your daily practice with your children if you have a young child and just talk about one of the part you know part one what does it mean surah alhamd then next day talk about what does it mean about this ayat in part two ayat three ayat four five talk about it on daily basis just a little bit two minutes three minutes don't force too much and you will see unknowingly unconsciously in back of their mind they will understand the meaning of the dua is part of our tariqa because you need to make that part of your daily life so you can it can become part of our daily recitation of the dua and i have seen family doing that and i have seen those children they understand dua so well that it is amazing i'll give you a quick example in uh, one of the session like this when we used to have a classroom sessions someone asked a child or they, they didn't even ask the child they were asking general question in the class like i always ask in this sessions right what does sirat al mustaqim mean no one was answering a child i believe she was not more than 7 8 year old you know what she said imam is sirat al mustaqim imagine this answer a child saying imam himself is sirat al mustaqim so walk on the way of the imam that was our answer now imagine what kind of parents she would have how did she come to this conclusion ji very good question thank you any questions from any friends سر So, what is it exactly? Is this honest ibadat? Uh, could you please go a little bit more deep in there? Yes. You have heard all the questions. The Kamran Sahib is asking what is honest ibadat? What is the honest ibadat? Look. Honest ibadat is what is the difference between the two. First, we have to remember that the difference is the difference. what is compulsory and necessary that is requirement that is a minimum requirement you have no say in it jo farz hai wo to karz hai dua the son aur chand raat ke mallas ye teen cheez hamare tareeke ke andar farz hai اور جو فرض ہے وہ قرض ہے دوز آر دی منیمم ریکوائرمنٹ اینڈ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو سی دس اگین ان دس اسمال گروپ خالی دعا پڑھ کر خالی دسون ڈال کر آپ اپنے اصل تک نہیں پہنچ سکتے ہیں معافی سو سوری جس بائی دعا اینڈ جس بائی گیونگ دسون you will not be able to get to your asal what do you need next step is your honest ibadat if you love the imam then what would you do you will enroll yourself in ibadat you will enroll yourself in other majalis you will do extraordinary ibadat meaning not one hour 
but two hour of ibadat two hour of ibadat just not recite the dua as not understanding but will work hard understand the dua the meaning of the dua then recite the dua that is honest ibadat don't just give your money the son give you the son of your time give the son of your energy give the son of your knowledge give the son of your tasbihat i'm sure people are shocked on this line you mean there is more than one kind of the son yes my brother and sister yes my friends there are more than one kind of the son money is the easiest one easiest one time and knowledge is next level of the son then intellect and your spiritual the son is the hardest the son first to understand and then give that is honest ibadat ईमानदारी की इबादत कि वो इबादत वो डीड्स जो हम डेली बेसिस पर इग्नोर करते हैं भूल जाते हैं गिव एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डनरी टू द इमाम दैट इज योर ऑनेस्ट इबादत थैंक यू कामरेज साहब दिस वॉज अ ग्रेट क्वेश्चन So if there is no more question thank you everybody for uh, attending this morning class session and keep continue to pray for this garib and nachis so we can have this kind of sessions and understanding of our tariqa may mola give you lot of barakat in your ilm in your understanding in your ibadat in your tasbihat in your griya wazari and may mola keep you near his noor and inshallah soon give you nurani didar amin thank you everybody bahut nawazish ya ali madad ya ali madad ya ali madad